All right, here we go. Um, this is kind of like a little recap of some Algebra 1 stuff and some of the stuff we've already been doing this year. It's uh, combining like terms and foiling. So remember, if you're subtracting, you might want to change that to a plus, make that a minus, a plus, and then change this to a minus as well. So you have 4x squared and a negative x squared. That's going to give you 3x squared. And you have 2x and 5x. That's going to give you 7x. And finally, a negative 3 and a negative 7 is going to give you a negative 10. It's just combining like terms. So sometimes you have to be careful, though. We don't always put them in nice orders for you. So you've got your x to the fourth and x to the 3x to the fourth. So you have 4x to the fourth. And then we have a 2x cubed over here. Notice there's no x cubed on the left. So that's just plus 2x cubed. And then we have plus 3x squared. And then we have 9 plus 8 is 17. So it's just combining like terms. When it comes to multiplying, sometimes they're going to be a little bit bigger. So now, when you are multiplying a binomial and a trinomial, you have a lot more multiplying to do. So we have x times 2x squared, which is 2x cubed. And then we have x times 4x, which is going to give us 4x squared. And then x times a negative 3 is a negative 3x. And now we have to multiply again with the negative 2. So negative 2 times 2x squared is a negative 4x squared. Negative 2 times 4x is a negative 8x. And a negative 2 times a negative 3 is a positive 6. Now you just have to combine all of your like terms. We have our 2x cubed all by itself. And then we have our... 4x squared and a negative 4x squared, so they just cancel each other out. Now we have our negative 3x and a negative 8x for a negative 11x, and we have our constant all by himself plus 6. Okay, and that's how you do that. Number 4, you have to FOIL uh, two of them and then multiply that trinomial by another binomial. It doesn't really matter which order you like to do it. So I'm going to just leave the x minus 3. And then I'm going to FOIL these two first. So we have x times x is x squared. 2x and x is going to give you a 3x. And 2 times 1 is still 2. And now you just have to multiply by x minus 3 again, like we just did in the problem above. That will give you x cubed plus 3x squared plus 2x minus 3x squared minus 9x minus 6 for a grand total of x cubed minus 7x minus 6 once you combine like terms. Again, this is all review. Now, there are some shortcuts for special products, though. And you already know the difference of two squares is when you have two perfect squares with a minus sign in between. When you factor it, you know it's going to be a plus b and a minus b. So before you decide to FOIL, if you see that you have an x plus 3 and an x minus 3, you don't have to FOIL. x times x is x squared, and 3 times a negative 3 is a negative 9, and you're done. You do not have to go through all the steps if you recognize the shortcut. Now, if you don't recognize the shortcut, no worries. FOIL it, and you'll be good. But now we have square of a binomial. That one, again, it's just a shortcut if you want it. If you see that you have square of a binomial, that's a plus b squared, you can just remember that it's the first term squared, the second term squared, and then it's 2 times a times b. So then this will look a little bit like this. We have x squared. We have 2 squared, which is 4. And then in the middle, it's 2 times uh, your a times b, so that's 2x. So that's going to give you 4x on the inside. Again, it's only a shortcut. If you wanted to FOIL that, you can go right ahead. Um, so then you got the last one here. Uh, you can try this one on your own. You have 2x minus 1 squared. So if you want, you can use the shortcut. The only difference is, is uh, this is going to be negative now. So go ahead and try really quick on your own. And you should end up with 2x squared is 4x squared. A negative 1 squared is a positive 1. 2x times a negative 1 is a negative 2x times 2 
is a negative 4x. And you're done. So that's the shortcut. Again, if you want, you can foil it. That's fine. Now, if you're going to memorize any shortcuts, it's the cube of a binomial. Now, the reason why is <clears throat> it's going to save you a lot of time. If you want, you can just go all the way back up to one of the examples we did earlier, like number four. You can just multiply two of them and then multiply it again. Or if you know the shortcut, you just have to follow the pattern. So we have an A and a B. And the shortcut is A cubed. And then we have three times A squared B. Then we have plus three times AB squared. And then we have plus B cubed at the end. So A cubed, so X is our A. So we have X cubed. And then we have plus three times A squared, which is X squared, and B is three. So that's going to become plus 9x squared. And then over here, we're going to have our 3. a is x. Now b squared. b is 3, so 3 squared. So 3 squared is 9 times 3 is 27x. And finally, b cubed. We know b is 3, so 3 cubed is 27. So that's the shortcut when you are doing the cube of a binomial. All right? So this, we have two more examples for you to try. When it's minus, the only difference is it's going to be plus, minus, plus, minus. So you have a little bit of a pattern. So why don't you try the last two and see if you can get them. The last one is tricky. We'll, we'll start this guy as a little bit of a tricky one. All right, go ahead and give him a try. So for the first one, x cubed is x cubed. Then we have a negative. You don't have to memorize. I mean, remember, it's plus, minus, plus, minus. So we have minus 3 times our a squared, which is x squared, times our b, which is 2. So 3 times 2 is 6, x squared. Then we have 3 times x times 2 squared, because now it's b squared. So 3 times 4 is 12, x. And then 2 cubed is 8. Follow the pattern, plus, minus, plus, minus. OK? Now, the last one I wanted to step through with you. So here's the thing. It's still the cube of a bino binomial. So we have this term together we'll just call A, and that we'll call B for formula purposes. So we have A, which is AB cubed, and then we have 3 times A squared times B, and then this, is, again, is just the formula. So then we have plus 3 times a times b squared plus b cubed. So that's just me plugging it into the formula that was given to you. And now you just simplify it using your exponent rules. So a b cubed can become a cubed b cubed plus this is 3 times 2 is 6, a squared, b squared, plus 3 times 4 is 12, ab, and 2 cubed is 8, and you're done. So that's it for this video. Uh, this video is to, again, give you some shortcuts. Now, again, if you don't like using the shortcuts, no one ever said you have to use them. They just save you time. If you want, you could do x minus 2 times x minus 2 times x minus 2 and multiply twice if you want to. Again, the shortcuts are to save you time on quizzes and tests, but they are not mandatory. All right, this is Longo and I'm out. See you, bye.